All right, so thanks for joining me again for another project. And on this project, what we're going to be doing is, you guessed it, we're adding a winch. And this is going to be more of an idea than me actually showing you uh, exactly how to do it. Uh, I'm not a professional welder or any of this sort. Um, but what I've got here, um, and I was going to kind of assemble it, but my assembly is a little bit rough. Uh, my brackets and all, uh, but I will take you down off the camera, off the tripod, and just kind of talk you through what I've got to make this happen, okay? What we've got is our winch here, and uh, it sets in like this, and I'll bolt it in, and then obviously this is that brand there, uh, and then that'll come through on the guides. Uh, so that's what we've got here. This is an easy to go project that I just started. Uh, I've got the new tires on it. The lift, uh, was this cart was actually given to me. The controller was bad. Uh, they were trying to get it going and they didn't want to put the money in it to get a new controller and all that. So um, this is what we got here. Uh, we decided to go ahead and add a little winch. You never know when you're gonna need it. Uh, so I kind of I didn't bolt this down yet. Uh, what? Let me pull you off the tripod and I'll bring you down here and give you a good idea of how you could get yours going. Notice this uh, right here is the three-inch uh, axle lift, not the spindle lift. So I know some there's different lifts. Uh, I actually like this better because it keeps the factory uh, spindles. I believe I didn't do this part, um, but uh, it's pretty stout and then if you do it that way I'll show you you have a little extra bonus all right so here we go uh, what I've got is a two inch receiver insert uh, you can buy these on Amazon uh, I think the last one I bought was about twelve dollars or you can find them on the side of the highway because the new three-quarter and uh, one ton trucks have the two and a half inch uh, receiver and they put these inserts in and uh, before they rust in place people uh, you know they fall out so just something this one actually was picked up on the side of the road you can see a big gash right there um, I did get it all painted and cleaned up uh, but yeah you guessed it so back to how this is built I started out with the original axle it's already got the three holes here and um, what I've got is the main part of this easy go this is a 96 easy go and it bolts onto these springs okay and you've got three uh, is that I think it's half inch bolts here and so the new uh, uh, raised axle I want to call it um, you know is here and it already has the plates welded on and then this one that uh, was taken off we took it off of course and it's here and instead of throwing it away uh, I just kind of looked at this and how I could add a, um, a bracket and a, a winch what I wanted a winch was here and with the way everything was arranged, the shock and the stud, I tried to get the winch in this area, you know, kind of more in center line of this. Uh, and I could put it down here, but then that puts your winch real low, and I didn't want that. So um, here it is. So here's the original pieces, and uh, I just took my bandsaw and cut them off. You see there. Uh, Cut, cut the ends off basically flush I kind of did taper it in uh, when I was cutting it uh, right even with this bracket and so that gave me a little space there and then I went in with uh, I believe it was half inch or three quarter uh, stock flat bar we have a two inch uh, flat bar here that I just welded for stability I've got it welded underneath and right here and I think this is going to be pretty rigid again this is not for pulling uh, huge trailers it's just for little 
utility trailer around the yard. We had that same flat bar that was welded on here. Uh, I took it and welded it on here on the top of the two inch receiver and then drilled, uh, not very successfully, the pattern for this uh, rolled plate. One of the winch mounts on these two bolts, um, I just you know drilled a hole large enough for the head to go in and countersink and then welded the head to this plate and that's why it's offset. I should have put a nut right here, screwed down on here tight and that would have held this flat um, when I was welding but I didn't do that unfortunately. Okay so then I had to just oversize the holes on the winch. Okay then so you put bolts in these holes um, it interferes with the winch with this particular winch so then you could only put two bolts here and none here so I didn't like that idea um, what I did was cut off the head of the bolt on this one stick it in here with a nut on the back side and welded that left it recessed and just filled that in totally um, you know basically stick stuck the bolt cut the bolt head off stuck it in here with a nut on it to set the gauge and held it and uh, then welded up the head and you can see it's perfect it's a uh, flush and I grind it off flush and you got these two here okay but I didn't get them perfect so I oversized the hole and uh, now they're sticking out there I, and I oversized these holes uh, 3 8 so I had to drill them 3 8 and I've got uh, 5 16 bolts here so that gives me a little play uh, 3 8 on the bottom plate is where I drilled the oversized holes the winch is installed I've got my two um, my lock nut on front and back and I've got my I've got lock nuts on these bolts uh, and secured so let's see how that flush works out pretty good. I just want to make sure this plate had enough uh, secure on this side. So I think it does, and again, I mean, there's no telling how much these bolts would pull before they sheared. So <coughs> the winch is only secured by two 5 16 bolts. All the way around, you can see how thick that weld is. Um, just want to make sure with that. Uh, and then uh, one thing that I had a little bit of trouble with, not that not that much, but this receiver hitch, if you level it and then you put this piece at a 15 degree angle. So I just leveled this in the vise and then put my uh, level gauge at 15 degrees on either this bracket or this right here. And that gave me just about the right angle. I think it's... You know it's close enough uh, and I'm pretty sure I, I can't remember if I checked it or not but it's pretty pretty good so let me know in the comments uh, if you're doing a easy go project this might help you if you're kind of doing a hunting buggy that's basically what this is going to be a little quiet hunting buggy um, let me know that might help you out might give you some ideas on this uh, and if you're starting out on a project you know this uh, lift if you get this lift you have the spare uh, axle I think they call it um, and then you can actually cut the ends off and do this uh, so it gives you another idea all right thanks for joining me again see you later